What's up guys, it's Ollie from History Profiles and welcome to another video. Today's video will be about the Satanist priest, Urbain Grandier. This case is especially disturbing, as there is a handwritten pact with the devil, which Urbain allegedly used to acquire his powers with sorcery and the black arts. Anyway, let's get into the video. Not much is known about Urbain's childhood, but he was born in the year 1590, in Mayenne, France. He attended the college of La Medellin in Bordeaux. He just so happened to have an uncle that was a priest, who held some influence in his parish. This gave Urbain the path to become a parish priest for the church of Saint Pierre du Marche in London. He was elected to be the priest of the church in 1617. After being a priest for over a decade, in 1630, the daughter of Louis Tricant, who was the king's prosecutor, gave birth to a son. It was commonly assumed that Urbain was the father. He was also known to be a womanizer and had intimate relationships with a number of women. In 1632, there was an allegation of sorcery against Urbain. A group of nuns from a local convent accused him of having bewitched them, sending the demon Asmondi and other demonic entities to commit evil acts with them. Asmondi is the demon of one of the seven deadly sins, that being lust. The nuns said they had a carnal desire for Urbain after he had summoned the demon to infiltrate their minds. The evil acts committed with the nuns were no doubt intimate relationships, which is forbidden for both nuns and priests. This serious allegation against Urbain was deadly, as the punishment for sorcery was death. The accusations began after Urbain refused to become the spiritual director of the convent. He was unaware that the sister, Jeanne of the Angels, a nun, had become obsessed with him. She had seen him from afar and had heard of his sexual exploits from the people of the church. She apparently approached him and made advances towards Urbain. However, he rejected her advances and this left Jeanne becoming extremely bitter. She accused him of using black magic to seduce her and the other nuns made similar accusations. The case would be taken seriously as the Archbishop of Bordeaux interviewed the nuns. In addition to the accusations, Urbain had made an enemy that he was no match for in terms of status. He was hated by the powerful cardinal Richelieu, a chief minister in France. The cardinals were only topped by the Pope in terms of power. The cardinal wanted the walls around London to be demolished, while Urbain supported those who wished for the walls to remain. Urbain also wrote a book. The message behind this book was that clerical celibacy was not necessary. The church obviously didn't favour this book. In November 1633, Urbain was arrested and confined to the prison at Angers, which is a city in western France. To make matters worse, Urbain would not be tried by the traditional judges from Parliament, as there was a decree confirming the prohibition of the powers of Parliament interfering in the matter as he would be tried by the church. The nuns who had accused him were then examined and exercised as the demons that Urbain unleashed were said to still be inside them. Urbain was then tortured and documents were found where Urbain and several demons had signed, which confirmed his pact with the devil. One of the documents introduced as evidence during Urbain's trial 
is a pact written in Latin and allegedly signed by Urbain. There is also another document which looks illegible as it is written backwards in Latin and seems to be written by a madman or someone under the influence of a supernatural entity. The document also has many strange symbols on it and was signed by several demons, including Satan himself. One of these documents was deciphered and translated into English. It reads, We, the influential Lucifer, the young Satan, Beelzebub, Leviathan, Elimai, and Astaroth, together with others, have today accepted the covenant pact of Urbane Grandier, who is ours. And him do we praise the love of women, the flower of virgins, the respect of monarchs, honours, lusts and powers. He will go whoring three days long. The carousal will be dear to him. He offers us, once in the year, a seal of blood. Under his feet he will trample the holy things of the church and he will ask us many questions. With this pact he will live twenty years happy on the earth of men and will later join us to sin against God. Bound in hell in the council of demons, Lucifer, Beelzebub, Satan, Astaroth, Leviathan, Elimi. The seals placed the devil, the master and the demons, princes of the Lord. Urbane was then tried and found guilty of sorcery and Satanism. He was then sentenced to death. Before he would be killed, he would be subjected to a form of torture called the Spanish boot. The Spanish boot was an iron casing for the leg and foot. Iron spikes were hammered in between the casing and the victim's flesh. For Aubain's torture, they also heated the iron casing to melt the flesh off his bones. Despite this form of torture, Urbane never confessed to sorcery. His body was then set on a stake. He was burned alive and consumed by the flames. Do you truly think that the priest Urbane made a pact with the devil and practiced sorcery on those nuns? Or do you think he was just a womanizing priest who came to odds with the powerful cardinal who set him up to be tried for sorcery. If he was set up, it was done incredibly well with the documents and the nuns who all played along with the story. The church was all powerful back then and we know that people do terrible things to get their own way, even the alleged most godly men such as cardinals. Many theories exist as to the cause of the possession of the nuns. One of the most likely explanations is that the whole affair was orchestrated by the cardinal and the documents with the deals with the devil were forged and the nuns were being paid off. So let me know what you think. Do you think he was a satanist or was set up? Let me know in the comment sections down below. And let me know if you enjoy these videos on demon worshippers and sorcerers. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe and share. And have a great day now. Bye.